Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm filming on my boyfriend's phone because I realized how uh, low my quality was on my old phone. It's an iPhone 8 I guess, but yeah, the quality nowadays, uh, it, it, the phone is four years old and in the grand scheme of things it's maybe not that old, but for the quality it's not uh, the best. But today I wanted to do another VR because I had loads and loads of fun uh, making uh, the VR to Danny Mystic, uh, my classic decks, and I loved interacting with you and I loved everything about it, making it. Um, yes, so today I want to do the VR uh, to uh, Boho Tarot, the decks I want to work with in 2021. Twen <laughs> No, not 2021, 2022. That, um, yes. So, I don't know what I'm going to start with because, uh, yeah, cha being chaotic is a part of me um, and uh, a part that I'm trying to embrace more. So, that's totally fine. I think I know where I'm going to start. I'm going to start with the Crow Tarot. So, the Crow Tarot is a deck that I um, traded, and I am going to look at my phone for uh, the name. I think it was Tamara. Yeah, Tamara from Nightshade uh, Low Low Thing Tarot. <laughs> uh, and she calls them Tamara. And uh, I traded it for. A fairy wisdom deck, the out of print version, but I traded for the crow tarot, and yes, I already um, have worked with it, and I already have an opinion about it. I, I talked to uh, Tamara uh, Tamara yesterday. I, I don't even know if I pronounced your name correctly uh, about it. That is quite. Quite a deck. <laughs> I've seen it lots of times on, on YouTube videos. I've seen it all over the internet, on Instagram, and people raving about it, but also people who don't care about it because uh, there's a, a site called Vinted and the Crow Tarot is uh, very much um, a tarot deck that is uh, always on sale. So I guess it's maybe highly uh, used but also highly sold <laughs> but I used it in a, in a reading yesterday and it was very honest <laughs> that is what I have to say about it it it, it hurts hurt, hurt me I don't know how to say that in English it it it, it, it yeah it was a little bit uh, painful I have to say um, I don't really know what I expected it from a, a crow tarot. I mean, I love crows. Um, when I was, I don't know, I, I think it's maybe al almost 10 years ago, maybe 8 years ago, uh, my sister and I uh, made a trip to London. Um, it was a very, very, very nice trip. Um, and there was a, a shop called Shell Adore Tattoo and it was uh, near where we stayed in a hostel. And I really, really wanted to get a crow tattoo, but my budget and uh, I think my age also, also, I think I was 19 or 20, so it was not 10 years ago, but because I'm 27, but um, yeah, was something I really wanted to do, but I didn't have any tattoos at that moment, so I really was scared and I didn't go through with it, but my plan is to still get a crow tattoo, so... Uh, at that point, I wasn't spiritually awakened. Like, I wasn't into tarot, I wasn't into spirituality. I knew about it, but it was not a big part of my life. Not a conscience part of my life, because it's always a big part of our lives. But it's just if you're conscious about it or not. So yes, the Crow Tarot. That's a deck I'm really... Also a little bit afraid to work with because the reading yesterday, but I, I mean, it's really honest. So that's that I have to give it that. And I really enjoy the artwork. I have uh, multiple decks from MG Kalinen. 
sorry if I mispronounce it. On my uh, list, I also want to have the nightshade um, and maybe the crow oracle. It's all, all on my wish list, but I thought it would be very nice to start uh, with the crow tarot because it's it's all over the internet and all over Instagram. So I thought that must be there must be a reason why. And I'm on five minutes already. <laughs> So that was the first deck. The second deck I really want to work with in um, 2022 is the Book of Shadows and the So Below deck. So this is a, yeah, I don't know. An, I guess an everyday deck. Uh, um, not so much for spiritual work, but more for everyday readings. Um, yeah, day to day, a card pool, like real life, uh, everyday stuff. And I had the. Uh, what is it? This might hurt there. I had that deck and I really enjoyed working with it and also for clients. Uh, Professionally, um, I also worked with it quite a lot. But one day I looked at the artwork and there was something in me that was like, no, no, I don't enjoy it anymore. I, I didn't want to use it after that anymore. It was like, I'm done with this deck. And um, then I hold it, hold on for it for a, a quite a time because I didn't want to regret uh, uh, by uh, selling it and wanting it back but I sold it and I have to say I didn't regret, regret it at all because there are so many nice decks and new decks coming out that I yeah I don't know but this is the Book of Shadows so below deck I also have the as above but I am not not really drawn to it and I think I want to rehome that already, and it's a deck that is quite new to my collection as well. So, and <laughs> this might be a little bit of a funny pick, or I don't know, it's it's not funny at all, because it's my fandom, if you want to call it that, Lord of the Rings, is a very, um, really fan of it, uh, I always watched it with my family, um, and I rewatch it like every year. I even want to watch it more, but I think I shouldn't because <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, it has to feel quite special, and I don't know if if I would watch it every day that it would feel special. Maybe it would feel boring uh, if you watch it every day. This is the top box, huh? That fell down, of course. I also have to. A sip of my lemonade in my Disney cup. <laughs> Coconut lemonade. It's, it's a little bit weird, but it's good. It's nice. But this is the Lord of the Rings tarot from, I guess, they are called Fickle's Art on Etsy. The full. Um. Saruman as the magician and the reason I really want to work with this also because I, I'm a really big fan of it but also this year is the, 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 the new Lord of the Rings series and I already watched the trailers and everything I could read about it and it's not it's not going to be anything like the Lord of the Rings uh, that we know but I think that's a good thing but I really want to use this in that period, and I already used it. But I, I guess I have to say there are some scratches on it, so I think I have to be a little bit careful with this deck. And that's fine, because it never was Gandalf. Hello Gandalf, love you. It was never going to be an everyday deck, so that's fine. Gimli and Legolas, my favorite. Favorite cards, favorite characters. Especially Legolas. The elves were al always very, very fascinating to me. So, definitely Frodo. So, 
So this is definitely a, a deck that ends where I want to work with in 2022 and especially when when like the the series Lord of Rings series will come out I think that would be especially a fun time to use this deck so the death card and King Angmar which King Angmar of uh, Nazgul I already pulled that card <laughs> And it was a, a, a funny thing because I pulled the death card and uh, no, the devil card with Angmar and I guess the tower card or something. And uh, my dad recognized the characters and, I, and he said jokingly, oh, this is not going to be su such a nice weekend for you. <laughs> so that was really fun, actually. And the weekend was okay. So that's, that's good. So Lord of the Rings tarot. That is a deck. I want to work with in 2022 and I'm trying to figure out this whole YouTube thing I guess uh, because some people like film not only themselves but they only film the decks but I have like my laptop, uh, Books of Shadow, Isis Oracle and Terror of the Abyss to of uh, Nazgul. I already pulled that card. <laughs> And it was a, a, a funny thing because I pulled the death card and uh, no, the devil card with Angmar and I guess the tower card or something. And uh, my dad recognized the characters and, I, and he said jokingly, oh, this is not going to be su such a nice weekend for you. <laughs> so that was really fun, actually. And the weekend was okay. So that's, that's good. So Lord of the Rings tarot. That is a deck. I want to work with in 2022 and I'm trying to figure out this whole YouTube thing I guess uh, because some people like film not only themselves but they only film the decks but I have like my laptop, uh, Books of Shadow, Isis Oracle and Terror of the Abyss to hold uh, it all together and to let me make this video so I'm not at all uh, professional in this uh, uh, video making so bear with me <laughs> but uh, yes I enjoy it very much and I intend to make lots of videos so that's great another deck that I want to use but not really <laughs> in 2022 is mystical shaman oracle and when I say not really, it's because I tried to sell this deck for like multiple times. I think one, two, three times, I guess. I tried to sell it, but nobody wants it. So yeah, I think I need to work with it because maybe it's not the time. Maybe the universe says, uh, okay, Lisa, you want to get rid of it, but it still has some work for you or still some messages because the first try time I tried to sell it I was really um, like done with this deck I was like it's beautiful but I don't really get good messages with it um, and also something about it I don't know I think a, a, a shaman uh, a shaman should maybe make like a deck about shaman so that's also a reason why maybe this is uh, a little bit more difficult for me to read with um, because I have that thought in my head but um, the one time I tried to sell it uh, the time after that I read with it it really get, got me great great messages and I have the feeling there is some ancestor work something in this deck I feel connected to my ancestors and I don't really know why because um, my like immediate ancestors all lived in the in the Netherlands so maybe a past life thing I don't know but yeah the artwork is beautiful it's, it's really gorgeous and it has like lots of cards I think 65 so I guess it's not really a choice of me like not a conscious choice to me that I want to work with this deck but it's more that yeah it keeps um, being in my collection and nobody really wants to buy it so that's the reason I'm going to work with it in 2022 see if it still has got something for me that I didn't 
yeah, have, see or have like earlier. It also has the elements, so that's lovely and yeah, it's amazing. And the guidebook is good. It could it could be some, it could be sometimes it's a little bit repetitive, but it's very yeah, as you can already guess, like very spiritual. It's not like an everyday day to day deck as the as below tarot. Okay, that's the mystical shaman oracle. And another deck that I want to work with in 2022. It's not maybe I don't know, you can work with this deck any time of the year, I guess, but I feel that the um, why can I not figure out the name? I have the, the, the box right here. Ah, yes, the Wild Word Tarot. Um, very big box. Um, and that's why I keep it in my uh, thing and not on my table. But I trimmed it. And now it has sharp edges and I didn't use it so much with the borders, but now I didn't, I did not use it at all in the last months. And I think it gives me more of like a fall, fall, autumn, how you call it, vibe. So it could be very much that I want to work with it in more of like uh, my birth month, October. I guess it correlates and feels uh, like that month to me. I don't know why. M maybe it's because like the colors. But I want to edge it in green. I didn't already. But I want to edge it in green. And I still have a tool uh, coming for the rounding the corners. So I hope that it will shuffle much better when I do that. And yes, I, I really enjoy it. And the, the book is nice, but there's something that isn't clicking with me or something. I find it a little bit difficult to work with. And maybe it's because it's so in depth and it has all the seasons and elements and yeah, it's it's very different from the Rider Waite Smith, so that could be maybe why it's sometimes a little bit hard for me to work with. It's not a deck that I would use like in a professional reading, like uh, this deck, the So Blow deck, or the Crow Tarot, that I can work with it very easily with my intuition and my knowledge. This is more an in-depth. I'm going to put it. Um, have some time with it, sit with it, and read the guidebook type of deck. And I didn't really felt that very much in 2021. So I really want to give it a go, because I do really enjoy the artwork. And every time I see it, I get, yeah, I get happy. I have like, yeah, I don't know. I think it has a place in my collection, but... And this card I trimmed <laughs> too, too small. If you can see, uh, I guess you can see that that went wrong. <laughs> that is, it was my second trimming job with, uh, with like a tool. First I trimmed, um, that was a very regret of mine a few years ago. I trimmed the slow tarot. It's like painful for me to remember it because it was my first indie deck. And I, yeah, for me, it was like lots of money. And I was like, okay, I don't work with it. And I saw a lot of YouTubers uh, on YouTube like trimming their decks. And I was like, hmm, maybe I will give this a go and maybe it will work. And I completely, for, for me at least, destroyed the deck. And it was all types of crooked and there was somebody who I sold it to who didn't mind because I sent like photos of it and I talked to her about it that I, it was like a lot of it was crooked but she still bought it anyway for for a discounted price of course but um yeah so that was my first trim my second trim was the crystal vision stero and this was my third th third so okay and it was with the tool, so it was new to me because the first trim I did was with uh, scissors. So 
it was a little bit getting used to. But that is a deck that I want to work with in 2022 and give more time to and give more love to because it's a beautiful deck and the artwork is gorgeous and a lot of people, yeah, find it an attractive deck. So it's, it, yeah, I don't know. I think like the Crow Tarot is more of a taste thing and this deck is um, like easily more beautiful to lots of people. So, and that was my deck on the ground. It's okay. I'm going to fix that later. And I'm going to cheat a little bit, I think, with decks I want to work with. Because I had have a deck on pre-order. And that's the Cosmic Cycles Tarot. Um, I'm very excited for it. And I hope that it's going to be this year. Because I... Um, the set time is in summer, so I hope I'm going to receive it then and um, can work with it this year. And another deck I want to pre-order but haven't yet is the Terra Volatile. Um, it was uh, Danny Mystic actually that, that introduced me to the deck. And um, it's not a deck that I would usually, I think, be attracted to, but it really attracts me and it's artwork. I don't know. It has something about it that I think would suit my collection and be a really good, great additional uh, piece to my collection. And yeah, so that's not on pre-order order yet, but I'm tempting. I'm, I'm tempted too. And yeah, thank you for watching this video. This was my. Uh, VR to Boho Tarot for the decks I want to work with in 2022. If you have decks that you want to work with in 2022, comment below and uh, tell me all about it. I love interacting with, with you people and people who watch this video. If you like the video, give it a like and I hope I talk to you soon and have a good day. Thank you. Bye.